Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel, Attorney E Immigration Lawyer. In today's episode, we're going to be sharing some tips to protect you from scammers. Um, special podcast po ito para sa mga kababayan nating affected ng winter storm sa Texas especially. Marami pong mga scammers who are making attempts over the phone, by mail or email, through the internet or in person. Kaya po ang state and federal recovery officials are urging us to watch for and report any suspicious activities or potential fraud. And I'm going to give you that information later on. You can also get this information online. It's a FEMA website released on February 22nd, 2021. Don't get scammed. Protect yourself from contractor fraud. Mahal po natin ang Texas and uh, marami po tayong mga kaibigan sa Texas and we still have assets in Texas. So I want to share this information. Here are some tips to protect yourself. Don't wire money or pay with reloadable debit cards or gift cards. There's no legitimate reason to request those forms of payment. So wag po kayong mag-wire ng pera or magbayad ng mga debit cards or reloadable debit cards or gift cards. Wala pong dahilan para mag may mag-request sa inyo ng ganitong klasing payment if you are dealing with a contractor. Next, don't offer personal financial information over the phone. Know who you are dealing with and always ask for identification. Wag po kayong magbigay ng financial information over the phone. Alamin kung sino po ang kausap at manghingi kayo ng identification. So kung may tatawag sa inyo at magsasabi na, okay, you can apply for FEMA assistance and you have to give me your social security number, your bank information, blah, blah, blah. Don't give your personal and financial information over the phone, okay? Later on po, I'm gonna tell you the phone number to report the suspicious calls or activities that you're getting, okay? Number three, take your time to decide. In Texas, contractors are required to provide a notice of cancellation, which gives you the right to change your mind within three business days. If the transaction occurs in your home, even if the transaction does not occur in your home, you can still request three days. There's no legitimate reason to refuse this request. Okay, so Texas for I made on three day cancellation notice. So three business days, you have the right to change your mind. Kung ayaw nyo na po, kung nakapagkontrata na kayo, nakapirma na kayo, ay mayroon pa rin kayong three business days para mag-back out or baguhin ang yung decision, okay? If you don't want to proceed. Contractors are required to provide a notice of cancellation. Number four, get the agreement in writing. Read the contract carefully. And if you don't understand every word, take it to the expert. Never sign a contract with blank spaces to be filled in. Ito po. So, humingi kayo ng kopya ng agreement in writing and then now, ngayon, yung mga, e, yung mga doc you sign, you don't have to sign it right away. You can download the information, the contract, and read it first. So, if somebody's uh, sending you a contract or an agreement na doc you sign, di ba, parang napakabilis mag uh, pumirma. But though, you, can, you have the option of not signing yet. So, pwede mo siyang i-download and uh, saka mo siya basahin maigi before you sign. At kung hindi po maintindihan ang kontrata, especially kung marami mga legal terminologies, ay uh, go to an expert. Ang, uh, may mga abogado pong magre-review ng yung mga kontrata uh, dyan sa Texas. So you can go to them and ask for their legal assistance or help in understanding the contract. Number five, make sure the contract details all work to be performed, the cost, a projected completion date, and how to negotiate changes and settle the disputes. 
Okay, so bago ka pipirma ng kontrata, importante na lahat ng detalye ay nandoon na sa kontrata. Do not sign any contract na may mga blank spaces. Sa kontrata, dapat nandoon na yung kung ano yung work to be performed, yung halaga, yung projected completion date. It's very important, yung, especially itong completion date. And how to negotiate changes and settle the disputes. So kung may mga pagbabago, at kung may mga problema, may mga disputes kayo ng contractor, paano ba? And you can ask these questions, clarify this information before you sign the contract. And kung ang contractor mo ay hindi maipaliwanag, of course, itong mga detalye nito ay, you know, you have to think about it. Number six, do your research. Scam artists will usually come to offer you services either at your door, on the phone or through email. So be especially wary of solicitors. Ito po, mag-ingat kayo dahil maraming mga pamamaraan kung paano nila kayo ma-reach. Uh, especially now that they know na merong uh, disasters sa uh, Texas and uh, mayroon po mga FEMA assistance para sa mga homeowners and sa mga individuals na nasa Texas. Andiyan po yung kakatok sa pintuan nyo, tatawagan kayo sa phone, makakatanggap kayo ng email. So, mag-iingat po kayo sa solicitors. Next, get estimates from multiple contractors and your insurance company. Reject any offer that seems too good to be true. Para dun sa may mga damages ng kanilang mga bahay, ay, uh, before you sign a contract with any contractor, uh, it's better to get multiple estimates. So at least three ang suggestion ko, including your own insurance company. So magdi-decision kayo kung ano yung magandang, mas magandang deal para sa inyo. Sabi dito, kapag ang offer is too good to be true, most likely scam siya, so reject it. Next, ask for references from past customers. So, hindi po offensive na magtanong sa kanila. Mayroon na ba kayong mga customers in the past? Pwede bang magbigay ka ng reference? At pwede nyo pong i-check ito, itong mga business references na ito. Next, use the Better Business Bureau. Ang website po nila is www.bbb.org and internet search engines. Fraudulent firms change names frequently, so search the web for their address, phone number, and include terms like review, scam, and complaints. So go to the website of the Better Business Bureau, www.bbb.org. And when you do your internet search, kasi matung mga fraudulent firms, they always change their names. Ang hanapin niyo po ay yung kanilang address, phone number, and include terms like review, scam, and complaint. Number 10. FEMA does not certify contractors. So kung may lalapit sa inyo and telling you that we're certified by FEMA, according to FEMA, they do not certify contractors. Number 11, verify insurance. Contractors should have disability and workers' compensation insurance. If they don't, you may be liable for accidents on your property. This is very important. So ask the contractor, do you have insurance? Can you show me proof of your insurance? Kasi kung may nasaktan na workers na gumagawa dun sa bahay nyo, you may be liable for accidents. Kung wala pong insurance yung inyong contractor, yung mga fly by night. Next, make sure contractors have the proper licensing and are bonded. So ask for their license, verify it with the city or the county or the state and make sure that they are bonded. So they're required to be bonded. Ensure the contractors obtain the necessary permits to do the job. So dapat po ay meron silang mga permit para uh, gawin yung inyong bahay. So kung wala silang, you have to demand it before they proceed. Kung wala silang permits, no, there's something wrong with it. So don't, don't do it. Number 14, demand satisfaction. Don't sign the completion papers or make final payment until the work is done correctly. Okay, be smart 
especially on the payment. So don't pay it in full. <laughs> Yung po ang pinakasmart dyan, don't pay it in full. The project has to be completed first. So before you even sign the contract, tignan nyo na po doon yung payment terms and demand satisfaction. So hindi po kayo pipirma kung hindi. Kompleto ang trabaho dahil mahirap na maghabol when you, sign, when you sign the completion papers and you paid in full, ay napakahirap na po maghabol ng contractor para ayusin ang mga hindi po natapos. Take a picture of your contractor, their vehicle and license plate. So, picture nyo po yung mga sasakyan nila, license, yung identification nila. Take a picture of your contractor's business card and driver's license. So, kung ang contractor po ay hindi po makapagbigay ng information, ay, uh, you have to think about it before you sign the contract or before you proceed. Okay? Ang common scam kasi dyan is you sign the contract and then you pay the initial payment and then the contractor is gone and the work has not been completed. So before po kayo mag-entertain ng contractor, smart po na pick, get all the information that you can get. Uh, yung vehicle, license plate, business card, driver's license. At kung hindi po makapag-provide ng ganitong information, ay pag-isipan nyo pong maigi before you sign or before you, uh, you proceed in negotiating with them. Ito po ang information. Report your concerns. Potential fraud should be reported to your local law enforcement agency. You can also contact the Texas Office of the Attorney General by calling 1-800-621-0508 or call the free FEMA disaster fraud hotline at 866-720-5721, available 24 hours a day. Again, the fraud, the FEMA disaster fraud hotline is 866-721-5721. One. Right now, Texas homeowners and renters in 77 counties have been designated for individual assistance for those who have sustained damages. You may now apply for disaster assistance with FEMA. And the easiest way is uh, by going to the website www.disasterassistance.gov. There's no wait to register online and it is accessible 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If you cannot register online, you can also call 800-621-3362. This is a toll free telephone lines operating from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. CDT, seven days a week. Low interest disaster loans are also available from U.S. Small Business Administration. Um, for businesses, homeowners, and renters, so call the SBA at 1-800-659-2955 or go to their website, www.sba.gov, Services Disaster Assistance. Ayan po ang information to get help and also to avoid scammers. Texas, we are praying for you. We love you. And uh, mabuhay po kayo. Salamat po.